Hello everybody to my new let's play on Landscapes Reimagined. Thank you all for being here. Let's get going. I really don't know a lot about this pack, so I actually have a, a rough plan what I want to do, but not too in-depth. All right. Here we are, and we are in the middle of a jungle, as I see this. I think my world has settled in a little bit. I made it down from over there to the beach. And, um, yeah, well, I'm just starting to gather some resources for the first night. Um, let me tell you what's planned for this series. So, first off, um, this pack doesn't have a lot of different mods, but it has create and a lot of add-ons for that. And I don't know if you know create, but create is an awesome mod which allows you to automate a lot of things. Um, and it's not like one magic block solution like you have in other mods, um, but instead you have to build pretty much some small or bigger factories to do some of the stuff you want to do. And I think that's very fun and yeah, so we'll, we'll have a lot to build. So we do have fast leaf decay as I see and I don't think we have any form of way miner. So that's that. I need to find other elements to do things like these. And what I also planned is I'm going a little bit out of my comfort zone. Most of the time I'm building in a more easy way. But for this series, I really want to dive into um, the Victorian England theme and see how good I can manage to do this. So let's just start, get a crafting table. Do I have a crafting table on stick? No, I don't. But I have a crafting table in my inventory as soon as I have a crafting. Oh, nice. All right, I'll, I'll take that. Let's go for a wooden pickaxe, find myself some stone, and as there are some azalea trees here, I should be right above um, one of these pretty cave biomes, uh, lush caves. It is. So, we do have clay below us. This is awesome. We also have a lukewarm ocean, which maybe has some uh, corals. And here down we have a rocky jungle. Oh, I can even see lush caves here. Nice. Um, more jungle, more jungle, sparse jungle, rocky jungle, bamboo jungle. So very jungly. Uh, we'll take the boat along the coast and see what else we can get here. But for the moment, let's get some stone. You're a very beautiful turtle. All right, let's see what we find. There's a lighthouse. Hello. I have no idea where this comes from. I've never seen this type of lighthouse before. But is this a shipwreck? Wait, that's a, that's a shipwreck. Why is there a shipwreck next to a, light, a lighthouse? Oh, that's an Illager tower. All right. I, uh, I, now I can understand the shipwreck. Alright, should be here. F3 and G to open the map and then we want to go to... I think it was 9-9 nine, nine in the trunk relatives. So it would be here and here. Is there a chest below this? There is. Ha! Got it. And we have diamonds. So, if you want to open the treasure maps a little bit faster, F, C and G to open the chunk borders. Take a look at the chunk you should be in. You can see that based on the map. And then take a look at the chunk relative coordinates and go to 9 and 9. And there should be the chest. So, we're starting our game through with an iron sword, three diamonds, a 
bunch of different seeds. We got cabbage, we got beetroot, we got flax. We already know where Lush Cave is. We have an Illager Tower. So I'd rather stay somewhere here in this area because we have a lot of great stuff here. What's what this biome here? That's a bushland and there's a village. There, there's a village. Let's, let's go there and uh, steal a bat. That's actually an amazing start. And I think this bushland, even though it's not the most prettiest of all biomes, should be a very nice place to start because it's relatively flat, I say, while climbing the mountain. Hello, Mr. Villager. As you can see here in the uh, bottom, we have a mod that actually simulates the night. So instead of just skipping it, um, it will be just sped up. All right, let me get some wood, build some chests and plunder this village and this one below. And you'll just see a rapid montage of me opening chests and getting stuff. Let's go. And I also found a lot of uh, rooted dirt and packed mud in the area, which is very nice because I need that stuff to build. That's a hot air balloon. So if I ever need wool, there is a lot of it. All right, village clear. Let's go take a look at the big one here. So where where, would you, where do we start? The forest. And this here is a create windmill. So just taking this down will give us an instant access to some create power, which is very, very nice for the beginning. Um, to pretty much let's get this. All right, after plundering this whole village, this village, this village, and this village, as well as this tree stump here, I got some good amount of stuff. So we start this with six diamonds, 29 iron ingots, a few iron nuggets, a bit of lapis, a bit of prismarine crystals, gold ingots, emeralds, gold nuggets. We do have a bunch of blocks, including some rich soil and organic compost. Um, we do have a lot of organic materials, some dozens of seeds, we have masses of potatoes, we have weed without end, you've seen the hay belt here, so we will not get hungry very soon. And we do all, uh, also have the first few pieces for create, uh, a total of five cauldrons, and we also have a lava bucket. So if we get our hands on some dripstone, we can start creating infinite lava from the very start. So what the next plans? We do have a bunch of mud just scattered around in the area, as well as um, some sand and obviously rocks. I want to find some granite because it goes very well with bricks and mud. I need some andesite for create. So both of these are easiest to get by just using a nature's compass. We do have a normal compass and I think we have enough saplings and enough wood to just go ahead and create a nature's compass, like this. And with this we can just search for granite and there's granite caves and granite cliffs. And let's hope it's just around the corner. There's, there's a bunch of granite like a hundred blocks from here. And what about andesite? And aside caves, it's di directly below us. All right, I, I already thought we were really lucky with this environment, but we're far more lucky than I ever thought. All right, we do have Grant and Andesite directly in our environment. I also want a backpack, so a standard traveler's backpack 
and we need some stuff for that. We need some wool, we need some leather, some glass, gold and chests we do have. So pretty much we need some leather and some sheep and then we're good to go, I would say. Let me grab some materials, go for a bit of mining, get a backpack and I'll see you in a moment. Some leather for me. You do. Thank you very much. And 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 a hat. I didn't expect the hat. All right. And with this, I also have a white sleeping bag. Four leather, one gold two tanks, a chest and the bag. And I have my standard traveler's backpack. I could go and grab some clay from the lush cave. We know there is. If this is an azalea, it is, then we probably also can just go down here and find a lush cave. I'll just set up a small entrance to the lush cave here in the jungle so let's go down and there is lush cave all right got it what the heck are you a glare what what is a glare it looks like a pokemon what what are you can i can i somehow be a friend do you do you like glowberries Oh, it does! Awesome! Now, now I have a thing that follows me around, does it? It's a small floating as a layer bush. I do have a new friend now. Um, if you have any ideas about a name, if it actually followed me, I don't know. Um, put it down into, into the comments, I, uh, I, I now have a friend. My, is my glare following me? It is! Awesome! I'm, I'm not leaving you behind. You're my friend now. This is really just a flying azalea bush. <laughs> so funny. Alright. I made it home. I uh, parked my glare for now in my little storage room. And like I said, if you have any name ideas, please just go ahead because I like this guy. And with my small storage in the back, I gathered quite a few materials. So, shall we go see if we can find a nice place to go and get a first building up? Let's think about which would be a good place to use as our base of operation. I've been thinking to take a look at this area here. The other option would be going over here and take this brushland. So I'll probably take a look if I rather like the brushland or the arid, arid highlands. Yeah, I think I'm far more of a fan for the bushland, even though this... Uh, mountain there in the back will need to go at some point. Um, so let me actually start clearing a bit of this out and preparing a little bit of place for our 
first house. So, some space cleared. Let's see if we have all the materials I need to build a first, let's say small farmhouse. Before I start building this house, we do have a few options to change a few blocks of ours. So what I have here is, well, obviously a crafting station. We do have a new stone cutter to cut some things up. We do have a mason table, which we can use to uh, change stone, granite, andesite, and so on in a gazillion different blocks. And for glass, we do have a glass blower's table. So we can utilize this to get some nice checkerboard pattern and to change up our glass things. So with these, let's Get started, I think. All right, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short time lapse for you. For me, it was like an hour of building. And yes, what we have here now is our new living quarters. And uh, let me show you around what we have at the moment. So we have a small courtyard here, nothing much. Then in here, we do have a nice living room with a big fireplace. We do have our kitchen in here. And this lamp will not stay here, but probably go in on here. So we will have a small kitchen in here. We have a fireplace for the kitchen, which we will utilize uh, very soon to yeah, enable us to cook. And if we follow these stairs up here, we do have another area where we will have our bed. That's this house, pretty much. And outside, we can follow our way into this shed over here. And you can also already see our glassblower's table and the stone cutter. Um, this will be a small workshop where we will start with some create and probably also some storage in the next episode. Between episodes, let me just move my stuff in here, do a bit of decoration, and I very much hope that you enjoyed this. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>